skills of her Morgans in a challenging event called marathon carriage driving. This particular horse that I was driving, Nolan M Michael Jackson, I bought as a two-year-old to do combined driving with. Uh, this was actually sort of a demonstration as to uh, the maneuverability. Uh, most of combined driving is done, the hazards they have are within trees or log piles or something like that. And I was just trying to uh, show that how sharp that he would turn a carriage and how well he listened to me, asking him to do, you know, how he came close to the vehicle. Uh, uh, and uh, maneuver around like if it were a tree there rather than a traffic cone. The person on the back maneuvers the back of the carriage and the horse maneuvers the front of the carriage. And they're very intelligent. Uh, you have to, uh, you can't break them. You have to train them to what you want them to do. And uh, with patience, you can teach them to do almost anything. Morgan lovers get many opportunities to show off their treasures each year at events like Morgan Heritage Days held each summer in Tunbridge. The Justin Morgan competition is a combined event designed to demonstrate the breed's legendary versatility. For two years running, the winner of this event has been a 12-year-old stallion named Mill Run Sealskin, owned by Bruce and Jackie Marston of Belmont. They picked him out, or vice versa, when he was only a month old. And this horse stood out of the crowd. He pranced around, he was proud, he came up to us, and right away we knew that this was the horse we had to have. I think he's a beautiful horse, and I'm really proud of owning a horse like that, so I like people to see him, and there's a lot of fun in that, you know, knowing that, that he's a beautiful horse and that people will appreciate him and that hopefully I'll be able to show him well and to show all the things that he can do. For me, it's been a dream come true to own a horse like this. As with all living creatures, Morgans have evolved over the course of time. I've seen in the 33 years uh, a lot of changes, and uh, one of the changes is a vastly increased number of Morgan horses throughout not only Vermont, but the whole United States. And <clears throat> I've also seen a change in uh, the quality of the horses. And of course, there's been a big change in the use of the horse. Originally, the Morgan was uh, pretty much a carriage horse, as well as some saddle work, but now it's become a horse that's used in recreation and uh, with all ages and, and uh, sizes of people, uh, the Morgan has grown taller through selection over the years. During the 19th century, a price of 200 to 300 dollars was considered a lot for a good horse. Now it usually takes thousands of dollars to acquire a registered Morgan. So what should you expect to spend? Our answer at Weybridge is a range in price from thirty-five hundred to fifteen thousand somewhere in that area to buy a horse that can go out and compete in the upper levels of show ring competition um, you can spend uh, if you're lucky you can buy a horse inexpensively but to develop them you can get into a six-figure uh, show animal the impact of the Morgan horse on Vermont's economy is significant in addition to the UVM farm Vermont is home to the American Morgan Horse Association and the National Museum of the Morgan in Shelburne. These sites attract thousands of visitors each year. The bond between Vermonters and their Morgans is stronger than ever. The Morgan horse is our official state animal and has come to represent the special qualities and strengths of the state and its inhabitants. Catch Points North Wednesday nights at 7.30 here on Vermont Public Television.